Eric Mwad with Mwad.com with World Market Analysis for the weekend of January 28th and January 29th, 2017. Let's take a look at how markets closed in Asia. That's the close. European markets at the close of Friday's session. That's how the numbers settled out. And take a look at the Americas at the close of Friday's session. All right. Let's take a look at those charts. Let's begin with Australia. And again for, I guess, I don't know how many weeks this has been setting up, but we're still looking at weekly, excuse me, monthly charts showing topside resistance as far as the Australian market is concerned. So until we can clear that resistance, this market should be sideways to down. If we take a look at the Chinese market, we can see here that the Shanghai Stock Exchange showing a double bottom support at RSI 50 level. That's a sideways to stable market as long as the 50 RSI level is holding. And the key here is uniform activity support here, just like it did during this period, double bottom support for the lows here and here. If we take a look at the Hong Kong market, we can see that recently we went below 50, back above it with uniform action. Since then it's been recovering. And also we can see this on the monthly chart for the Hong Kong market as of right now. The monthly chart is showing uniform activity support at the RSI 50 level, which is what bulls want to see. If we take a look at the FXI, which is the ETF that tracks the Chinese market here in the US. Again, we can see nice uniform activity below 50 back above it for those lows and a re-entry. Now, what I want to discuss here is on the daily, we can see that it is coming back to show potential resistance based on the break here. Since this break, which is off the highs here, the market has been struggling to hold above this RSI line you can see that as of Friday we are still showing potential for resistance here so day to day looks like this is where Hong Kong and the Chinese market might struggle if we take a look at the FXI we can see that also on the weekly and this is something we are gonna see in other markets pretty much coming back to test this break line so this was a recent break of recent highs the markets pulled back and so we draw a line from there should be something like that we've seen resistance here before for the highs there coming back to test these highs here week to week might be a problem but as long as the monthly chart is holding back above RSI 50 we should expect the Hong Kong and the Chinese market to be stable to sideways if we take a look at the Japanese market, we can see that the Nikkei came here at the 50 level and held with uniform activity. That's a good double bottom support. As you can see here, uniform activity below 50 back above it. And also there's a line connecting RSI lows that we discussed in the past week. So this line also came into the area. The market bounced off the RSI lows line, which also happened to be coming back to test an upward sloping 50-day moving average. Since then, the market is higher. After that bounce on the daily, back above RSI 50 with uniform action, what that tends to suggest is that more than likely, we might have to take out the recent highs. So in terms of the weekly chart, we can expect a potential breakout, which would be bullish. So the market would have to move above 19,045 4.33 and that's a 5 so 1945 4.33 would be a fresh breakout anything above that would be a sign of a market that wants to record higher levels failure to break out then maybe we can start asking questions now keep in mind the biggest draw here or the problem that I see on the monthly chart as far as Japan is concerned is where it could stall we go back, let's go back about 13 years monthly. 
and on this chart we can clearly see what is going on here is the market is coming back to back test this failure line this is one way to look at it this was the break here of the highs there and we are coming back to back test that line failure to move above that line might suggest that now after a nice move from 1500 all the way to about 1950 any stumble here and confirmation of resistance here would suggest that the next meaningful direction from a swing trade perspective might actually be lower another way of looking at this is to consider where it broke down recently so this was a break that RSI break coming into 2016 brought the market off the highs there above above that level there and dropped here from 20 to 15 pretty much now we are coming back to test that level and the key is whether we can hold above that red line failure to move above this red line month to month might suggest again evidence of the next meaningful direction being lower if we test this line backwards we can see it coincides with the break this trend line break with a major break in 2007 here before we went into a massive bear market so failure at the current levels here on a month-to-month -month basis might be a problem as we go into the new month at something to consider if the monthly charts are looking like they're showing resistance that might actually be a major sell signal take a look at the Indian market and we can see that the nifty had a nice gain for the week gaining about 3.5 percent for the week take a look at the daily we closed the week with the daily trading above 69.1 so as long as the daily is holding above 69.1 that's a sign of a stable to bullish market so as long as the daily is above 69.1 also take a look at the fact that we broke through resistance so we broke through resistance here and as long as the market is showing this look where it is above the previous resistance line we can assume that the market should be at the very worst stable and at the best stable to sideways the key here is the market holding above 69.1 which is key we also see the same type of formation on the hourly for the nifty we can see that it is holding above 69.1 which means that short term it is still looking strong take a look at the monthly and we had observed over the last couple of weeks that as long as the market was bouncing on this RSI 50 level we can assume that the market is stable so as long as it's bouncing above RSI 50 what that means is that chances are it might have to take out these recent highs so this monthly chart as long as it is pointing higher and showing support at the RSI 50 line that is good enough to suggest that it might actually come back and test the highs on a monthly closing basis at 9800 now if we take a look at the weekly after such a nice gain pretty much what we are doing is coming back to test the recent break this break was a problem once the market broke below that we can see that we pull back here was a break we pull back here and so the RSI pretty much is being tested with this uniformity line check the description of the video if you want to understand some of these concepts like uniformity line so I have a link explaining this phenomena and also where I get the 69.1 number but anyway so week to week if this is confirmed as resistance chances are that this is where we start pulling back after a nice gain so if we can clear that blue line that's great failure to move above that blue line suggests that the next meaningful direction might be lower in fact let me show you a different look something to consider as we go into the new month and it is the monthly chart if you take the highs of the monthly chart draw a straight line you can see that pretty much what we are doing is coming back to test the top side so month to month this could be a problem if we roll over and show resistance on the monthly chart that again might be pointing to a market that is ready 
to drift lower so either we can clear this line or we find resistance and because new month might bring new energy resistance on this line might suggest that even here the next meaningful direction could very easily be lower now sticking with monthly charts take a look at the French market also similar type situation on the monthly like we, we see in Japan this was the break of the highs of 2015 here pretty much what we've done early part of 2017 is test this line the more this is confirmed as resistance the more we can look forward to a pullback as far as the French market is concerned uh, we've been testing this line and showing how relevant this line is and it so happens to be the line that led to major breaks a trend line break here also coinciding with that line brought the market off the highs of 2000 and we went into a major major bear market and then also we see another trend line break here which again corresponds with the break below that line and we saw a pullback and a major drop in 2008 so resistance on this line in the current market might end up being a problem something to watch month to month that this line here the more it is confirmed as resistance the more it suggests that there's a major bear market somewhere around the corner take a look at the German market and the DAX similar situation here pretty much what we are doing month to month and we've been talking about this is we are coming back to test this break off the highs of 2015 there and so the RSI is being tested and again check the description this is what I call uniformity or symmetrical action once this is confirmed as symmetrical resistance here month to month expect there to be a market that is gonna be pretty much stable to down and even here we can see that this was a major break zone the main bear markets began after we broke below here which is this pullback in 2000 we broke below here in 2000 late 2007 before we went into a major bear market so in the current market should we stall exactly on that line that's not a good sign we take a look at the FTSE FTSE also has topside resistance right there you can see that line right there topside RSI resistance which should be a problem unless the market can find a way of moving above that line again connecting the highs here and here and now coming and hitting that level failure to move above that line suggests the next meaningful direction without a breakout above that line is lower that's one view the other view is also something similar and it is a fact that we are coming back testing new highs trading at new highs month to month but the RSI is showing no improvement so that negative divergence sets the stage also for a pullback if we take a look at where the break took place before the bear market of 2000 2001 2002 this is where it broke down the RSI break here in early 2000 brought the market off the highs there and of course eventually we would go into a major multi-year bear market draw a line from here should be something like that and you can see again there was another trend line break here coinciding with the break off the highs of late 07 before the drop of 08 09 and now we are coming back to test that same level and all I'm saying here is be on the lookout here if this is confirmed as resistance it suggests that we should be expecting some major pullback as far as the FTSE is concerned let's stick with the monthly charts here take a look at the Canadian market and what we saw this past month was an attempt to break out above the current all-time monthly closing high the level we've been watching there has been at 15 
0.73, which is the current all-time confirmed monthly closing high going back to 2015. Now, actually 2014. So that high is what the market was trying to clear that previous monthly closing high. As of right now, we've been rejected. It's not a good sign, but you never know. If the market can clear that resistance, that would be great. Failure to move above this line, then that means market's running out of momentum. And without a breakout, it suggests that eventually you roll over and start pointing down. If we take a look at the daily, one can see that we made an improvement in day-to-day -day closing highs, but that has come at the expense of the RSI, which is showing negative divergence. Short term, that sets the stage for a pullback also. If we take a look at the Brazilian market, this past month, it is breaking out above the previous monthly closing high. So this, this chart by itself is actually very bullish. As long as the market can hold and trade above 64,924.52, which is the previous confirmed monthly closing high, any breakout above that is a sign of a market that wants to go higher. So again, as long as the Brazilian market is trading above this price range, that's great. The reason is that it meets the minimum requirements for a quality breakout. All we need here is for the RSI to move to three-year highs. We can see that the MACDs are already trading at three-year highs. So the MACDs meet the minimum requirement. You just need the RSI to move a little bit above this high line and trade to three-year highs. Again, you can check the description for the reason why that is important. And again, as long as the monthly chart is breaking out, let's give this market the benefit of the doubt. But I want to caution you because this could actually be a trick play based on long-term data. So even though it's breaking out and needs to stay above 64,000 and change, the true test is on the monthly chart. And the reason being very simple is because the last time we came to this level, the last couple of, at some point in 2016, we came back to test the previous break. This was a major break in 2010 of the highs there. Since then, that has been a problem as far as the Brazilian market is concerned. And again, this is what I call the uniformity principle. Check the descriptions for more. And here we can see that this has been a problem if you take resistance here with uniform activity for the highs there. Resistance with uniform activity here in 2014 for those highs. Serious highs because eventually you stall there and you go into a major bear market. Lasted two years. And now we've hit this in 2016. Coming back here in early 2017, the market needs to clear that line. Otherwise, failure to do so, and if this is confirmed as a double top with uniform activity, that's going to be a problem for the Brazilian market. Confirmation of resistance here, month to month, might suggest that we are now ready for another major pullback, maybe a multi-month, multi-year bear market. So this is a critical level. It's either make or break. Bulls would like the market to clear that resistance line on a monthly chart. Bears would like to see confirmation of resistance. And confirmation of resistance there would suggest that the next meaningful direction is lower. So we'll see which way the market wants to go. Above the blue line is bullish. Resistance, obviously, bearish. We'll see how things go in the new month. Make sure you account for your monthly charts. Eric Moade with Moade.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.